All right, welcome back, boys and girls. One more little round of uh, classwork here. You've got this worksheet that you opened up on your desktop, and, and now you're writing on a, a blank piece of lined paper. You're doing your work. You're showing your work. You're working these problems out. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip right past these first four because that's that's the same thing that we've been doing, right? And and you guys can do this. It says find missing side length to the nearest tenth. And you guys know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And you just kind of label these things a and b. You know that one's the hypotenuse by this point. And you know that one's the hypotenuse. And it doesn't matter if you call the 6 a or b. And then you've got A and C, and you're given A and B, and you just solve both of those. I'm going to move right down here to number five. Okay, you guys can pause and, and solve those problems up top. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep working here. The bottom of the ladder must be placed three feet from a wall. All right, so I, I like to draw things. The ladder is 12 feet long. All right, so ladders go against walls. It's, um, there's my, let's see here. I'm going to move this a little bit neater. Why not? I've got a ladder, and it is 12 feet long, and it is... Three feet from the wall. Now, how long? Gosh, I wonder. Can I? Can I just do this? Oh, that's yeah, that's kind of cool, but. Then let's see here, let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that and that. And let's, um, I'm going to try this one more time. Eight to shape. Well, I can't tell exactly, but uh, let's see here. I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that a right triangle, and I'm gonna say that it. Um, you know what? I don't like that at all. I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to draw this line. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to do this. And let's see here. We're three feet from the wall. We've got this right triangle. And the ladder is 12 feet long. So my long side is C. And I've got B and A. A squared plus 3 squared equals 12 squared. And so a squared plus 9 equals 144. And I subtract 9 from both sides. And I'm trying to find the square root of 135. That's 11 point. 6, 1, or 11.6, so A equals 11.6, all right, and that is feet, right, I'm talking about feet, that's how far off of the ground you would be at the top of that ladder, okay, this time we're looking at a soccer field is a rectangle 90 meters wide and 120 meters long 90 meters wide and 120
I'm just going to draw things when, when I can. The coach asks players to run from one corner to the corner diagonally across. All right, diagonal. Let's see here. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to grab this thing. And I'm going to go diagonally. So I'm looking for that length right there. Now this is a rectangle, so I know that's a right angle, and I know this is a right angle. And so I have I have A, and I have B, and I'm missing C, the hypotenuse. So let's see here, let's move over, let's get that out of the way. Let's do 90 squared, oh, I want to stop, I want to stop that. 90 squared plus 120 squared equals C squared. And this is going to be 8,100 plus uh, 14400. Zero, zero. I'm just going to double check that with my little calculator. Yep, that's, that's what we're looking for powers of 10, just add zeros, and then we're going to add those together, and then we're going to take the square root of that, Ooh, I bet that's going to be 150, second square root 22500 equals 150, so 22500 equals C squared, and then we take the square root of both of those sides, and we have 150 is equal to C. And so the coach asked the players to run 150 meters. The coach asked the players to run. The coach asked the players to run. Fifty meters across the field. All right. Let's do number seven. How far from the base of the house do you need to place a fifteen foot ladder so that it exactly reaches the top of a twelve foot tall wall? All right, so let's draw a 12 foot tall wall. And then let's draw a 15 foot ladder. And then let's find out what that distance is going to be. Oh, I should have done that first. 15 foot ladder, 12 foot tall wall right triangle let's see if it does it for us oh that didn't work funky here. There you go. So let's say it's a 15 foot ladder and it's a 12 foot tall wall. So 12 squared plus 15 squared equals 369. Second square root. Second square root, 369 equals 19.20. 19.20. Oh, I think I think we did that wrong there, didn't we? I did that wrong. I didn't label my sides. I made a mistake. 
that side's going to be B, that side's going to be A. So what I'm actually doing here, now I'm going to get rid of all of this. Work in that space. I'm doing A squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. All right, now we're getting somewhere. A squared plus 144 equals 225. So 15 squared minus 144 equals 81. So if I subtract that on both sides, right, I'm trying to isolate that variable. These cancel. I have a squared equals uh, 81. You guys are doing all this in your calculators, and that's going to be 9. That's, that's what I know. And so we're talking about the base of the house is 9 feet away from the bottom of the ladder so that it exactly reaches the top of the wall. The base of the ladder, the base of the ladder Nine feet, nine feet away from the house. And really, as I'm reading these problems, I can, how far away from the base of the house do you need to place a 15 foot ladder? So that exactly reaches the top of the 12 foot wall. How far away from the base of the house? Let's see here. That's the question. How far away from the base of the house? And then, and then all the information that you need, it's a, it's a 15 foot ladder and it reaches the top of a 12 foot wall, the top of a 12 foot wall. That's the information we really need in that problem, the question and the information to solve it. All right, I'm gonna do number eight. I'm gonna do it all the way down on the far right. I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff now. We're gonna read that problem. Remember, pause the video, rewind, Let's see here, the area of a square is 81 centimeters. I've got the area of a square is 81 centimeters. So, let's see. Let's just draw a square into shape. Let's draw a picture. So A equals 81. All right, and area equals, let's see, the formula for area equals side squared. Area is side squared. So if, if A is 81, 81 equals side squared, right? And if I want to find one side, Right, because, sorry, I didn't read that out loud. It says find the length of a side, right? So that's what I'm doing right here. Then it also asks another question, which we're going to do next. It says find the length of a diagonal. All right, so I'm going to take the square root of this, and I find that a side is 9, right? Oh, ink to shape. That's not what I want. Side is 9. So S equals 9. And if S equals 9, I'm going to take this stuff out of here. Ooh. I'm, go back. I'm just going to take this stuff out of here. I didn't want my, my square to go away. So all these sides are 9. So now if I draw a diagonal, Right, find the length of a diagonal, a corner-to-corner -corner line across this thing. 
That'll work. That side is the long side, opposite of the right angle, so that's C. So 9 squared plus 9 squared equals C squared. Because this is A and this is B. And so 81 plus 81 is 162. And the square root of 162 is 12.72. So C equals 12. Point we said round to the tenth, so it's 12.7 and our units. Can't forget the units 12.7 centimeter diagonal. Let's try number nine. Let's look at this. George rides his bike nine kilometers south and then 12 kilometers east. All right. How far is he going from his starting point? How far is he from his starting point? How far away is he? Let's see here. He rode nine kilometers. Oh, that is. Let's try this. Nine kilometers south. 12 kilometers east and we're trying to find how far he is from home so nine kilometers having a rough go of it here now nine kilometers and 12 kilometers and so i'm trying to find c i'm trying to find the hypotenuse it's opposite of that right angle so 9 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared so 81 plus 144 equals c squared and let's figure that out that's number one second square root 225 15 so 225 equals c squared and the square root of both of those 15 equals C so George is 15 kilometers 15 kilometers let's see southeast of his starting point That's number nine, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more here. And I'm erasing things, but you can go back, go back through the video if you need to. Okay, find the length of a rectangle that has a diagonal of 25 feet and a width of 15 feet. Okay, a rectangle. So let's draw a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Just like that. And it's going to be a diagonal. That's pretty bad. I'm going to try one more time. Well, that's just going to have to do for now. So the diagonal is 25. 
and that's my long side and I have a width of 15 and I'm missing this side over here all right so 25 squared doesn't matter what order I put these in equals 15 squared as long as I have a and b on the same side and c all by itself and 25 squared is 625 and 15 squared is 225 plus a squared and if I subtract 225 I get a squared equals 400 and the square root of 400 is 20 so a equals 20 and that's the end of that have a great evening uh enjoy the exit ticket see you tomorrow